Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be starting the second algorithm for computer graphics, graphics and this is the midpoint circle drawing algorithm. I mean, there won't always be lines to draw, there will be circular stuff, curvy stuff to draw. And for that we use the midpoint circle algorithm, which is very similar to the midpoint line algorithm, uh, except it's easier, much easier. In midpoint, uh, midpoint line algorithm, you usually have to find out the zones that you are that the line is in, and then derive out the necessary uh, d and e and d uh, the zones the derive, uh, derive the necessary directions. For example, del n e and del n, or del s e and del s, and all that. But for this, you have to just for midpoint circle algorithm, if you have to just figure out the zone for one quadrant, one part, one portion, and then later on you can just use uh, coordinates. You can just use a formula for the eight-way symmetry to uh, calculate the rest. This is how the algorithm goes. So first you first you calculate for one one zone, any zone. We usually calculate for uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. 7. We will usually calculate for the 7th zone and after that we just transform the coordinates accordingly for whichever zone the, the circle is actually going through. So for example, if the circle is going through this, we just first calculate for the, any, any of the zones and then after that we uh, just transform the values x and y coordinates according to the sign and then we get the actual, uh, actual values for actual values and direction, actual coordinates for that circle. So uh, we consider only 45 degree of the circle, the second octant from 0 to r, r, by, r, r by root 2. And we use uh, the circle points procedure to display the points on the entire circle. As with the midpoint line algorithm, the strategy is to select which of the two pixels is closer to the circle. Like, like I mentioned before, whichever pixel is closer to the circle, we select that pixel. We usually do this by cal calculating the distance from the midpoint. And uh, between the two, sorry, between the two pixels. So therefore, we'll uh, apply the same method here, uh, starting from the seventh zone. Uh, sorry, start, starting from the seventh zone. This is the algorithm of midpoint circle, uh, midpoint circle drawing. So first, you have uh, the x coordinate is the zero. The x coordinate is zero, and the y coordinate is uh, the radius. And after that, uh, the, the the general equation is taken as the circle equation that we usually use x square plus y square minus r square r is the radius and x and y are the coordinates all right so as you can see the first thing that we do is this is the east and southeast direction and the circle is going through uh, through these pixel points so first we calculate the midpoint if we, we find the midpoint coordinates so x plus one y minus half and then the midpoint for m1 is x plus two this is the point x plus two y minus half well, this is uh, an approximation. The, the point, the midpoint is actually here or something. And uh, the, this is for M. And this is for M1. And M2 is X, uh, X plus 2 and Y minus 1.5. So 3 by 2 essentially. All right. And this is the general equation. So uh, for del E, let's find out. So F M1 minus F M. So we get x square uh, x, x plus uh, what you call x plus 2 whole square plus y minus half whole square plus uh, sorry minus minus r square and minus it from the m so x plus 1 whole square plus y minus half whole square mi uh, minus r square so after uh, calculating the necessary uh, after solving the equation we get we we get 2x plus 3 all right and for del se same method so fm2 why fm2 because se is the change between this point and this point this is the change that's why it's called uh, it's a del, not del del notation used so for uh, for east the change is between m1 and m and for uh, southeast the change is between m2 and m so fm2 minus fm equals so again x plus 2 just plug in the values x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 by 2 whole square minus r square minus x plus 1 whole square 
plus y minus half whole square minus r square. So we get 2x. Let me just write out the answer. We get 2x minus 2y minus 2y plus 5. So these are the necessary uh, equations for del E and del SC. Now we need to find the D initial point. So let's just rub this off. So for D initial, we have just x square, x plus 1 whole square plus y minus half whole square minus r square. So after solving it, we get x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus uh, y plus 1 by 4 minus r square. So we know that after the general equation, we always equate it to 0. So x square plus y square minus r square gets cancelled out. So we are left with 2x plus 1 minus y plus 1 by 4. So after solving this, we need to find out the midpoint at 1 comma r minus half. Why so? Well, firstly, you know, we uh, the first rule of this is the first rule of the algorithm, as you could see here, was that x is, uh, sorry, this is a mistake here, yeah, x is, x is 0 and y is r, the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is a radius, and for finding the d, what we do is, the midpoint coordinate is x plus 1, so we know x is 0, x's value is 0, so 0 plus 1, and y value is r, so r minus half, so we get 1, r minus half these are the coordinates for the midpoint because we already know the first value that we that a midpoint has for a circle all right so after plugging in the values what we are left with is 5 by 4 minus r but since 5 by 4 gives out a fraction an algorithm we take it as integer and that's why it becomes 1 minus r to avoid fractions like in before in the midpoint circle, uh, midpoint line drawing algorithm, we should uh, we should multiply it with two. Here we just uh, remove the fraction and just get the integer value, so one minus r. So d initial is one minus r. All right. So the the question that that would that would be expected from an algorithm like this is the same as the midpoint line drawing algorithm, where they say where they where they tell you to draw the first five or ten pixel coordinates of a circle, and they give you the starting point. Now, from the starting point, we can uh, uh, what you call de denote that zero is x, uh, ten is y, and ten is also the radius because radius because the y coordinate is essentially the radius according to the algorithm, and also according to the algorithm, the positive chi the positive side is chosen to be uh, the positive side is chosen to be uh, east or southeast depending on what the uh, what you call what the line what the circle how the circle passes through now in this case the circle is passing through this uh, the midpoint is here and the circle is passing through the point between uh, some some point somewhere between the midpoint and the east so of course we'll choose the east east uh, pixel and uh, we'll, we'll choose this pixel and if the circle was passing through somewhere like this then the distance between then it was between the midpoint and the southeast direction so of course you would choose this pixel but according to the algorithm we are gonna we are going to choose the east direction as the uh, what you call the negative part and the southeast direction as the positive part because it was it's uh, it was said according to the algorithm that it's positive it's denoted positive outside the circle and negative a point is said to be positive outside the circle and negative inside the circle all right so uh, now, if, if we want to trace this out, the first coordinate will be 0, 10, and the direction will be 1 minus r, because that's the initial value. So 1 minus r is 1 minus 10, so minus 9. Now this gives you a negative. So negative means east. We're going to denote negative as east and positive as southeast. All right. So uh, then, then the first thing we should do is uh, change the d value and then change the x and y value. Now the d value is going to be minus 9 plus 2 into 0 plus 3. Why 2 into 0 plus 3? Because we're using east equation, the value, value for the equation for del e. 
So we get minus 6. And then we increment the x and y value. And we would know, the, uh, uh, like according to the algorithm we, uh, and according to the zone calculation, we know that on east direction only x is incremented and on southeast direction x is incremented, y is decremented. Just think about it when you're going from the coordinates. We're going to the positive axis and then going down the negative axis, negative y axis. So here it will be x plus plus and y minus minus. So since it's east, we're going to be incrementing x coordinate and this will remain the same. So again, it's a negative value, so it will be east and we'll decrement, we'll uh, choose the choose the d, d, d value for that. So it's minus 6 plus 2 into 1 plus 3. So we get minus 6 plus 5, so minus 1. All right. So after that, it's still a negative value. So we write the direction and then we increment the x value. So we get 2, 10. Now, uh, since again it's a negative value, we're going to be again plugging in. So minus 1 plus 2, uh, 2, 2 is a 4 plus 3. So we get 6. So this time it's a positive value. So positive value, so the direction will be southeast. And oh, since, uh, since it's in the southeast direction, we increment x and decrement y. So 9. So we got the first 4 pixel coordinates. Again, now we uh, add the value. So 6 plus 2 into 3 minus 2 into 9 plus 5. So then we would get the uh, next d value and then again increment and decrement according to the direction given. So this is how the tracing for midpoint circle algorithm is done. I hope you understood the derivations and how why or why, why the algorithm works in this way. I mean, if you if you're just given the algorithm and told to trace it, you could do it, but then you need to understand why how the derivations came about. So yeah, that's about it for midpoint circle algorithm. I hope you understood this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.